I thought it was probably a long time coming. I was assuming maybe, you know, this is, you know, they were done and, and, and the idea of, of it was kind of diminishing maybe a couple months back. Like I can remember, like I wanted to ask you too, what maybe you thought was what, you know, broke the straw on the camel's back. But I think it was when, um, you know, they had got into it on the show. Remember, I don't know if you if you remember, they were discussing the Tom Brady. It was, they were discussing Tom Brady at the time. This was in like December mm -hmm. of, uh, of last year. And, Sh and, Sk and Skip Bayless basically said, you were never the player that Tom Brady was. And he was just like, hold on now, Skip. Like, I'm a Hall of Famer. You know, like, why are you, why are you trying to make this personal? Why are you trying uh -huh. to take personal shots? I thought maybe that was a situation that did I mean, I think also a little bit of it is, is how they play into it. Mm -hmm. I think that a big part of their whole spiel Yeah is you know kind of going at each other like that you know it's kind of their whole gimmick you know a debate show only works <clears throat> excuse me a debate show only works when you have two people who have opposing viewpoints mm -hmm. otherwise it's an agree show you're right and like we're just sitting here agreeing with each other for two hours that's and that's point. no fun um so i do think that some of it is not orchestrated, but some of it's a little bit dramatized, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Now, has there been things that have been said that maybe have crossed certain boundaries mm -hmm. um, that maybe did not play out on screen, but did play out behind the scenes? I wouldn't doubt that. Mm -hmm. um, I do think that sometimes they tend to hit below the belt sometimes and and you know they're two alpha males if you yeah. will yeah, yeah, yeah. and when you have that um you're bound to ruffle some feathers and hurt some feelings um i think though that i don't know i i ten, i would like to believe that there is still a level of respect between the two of them mm -hmm. um i don't know if maybe just the show has run its course mm -hmm their dynamic has run its course but um like even with me and brandon when you think about our how we debate mm -hmm. we can debate and disagree but there's still a level of respect of course, of course and yeah. i think that once that level of respect is gone mm -hmm. when you take that out from the foundation it's hard to work with somebody now it's contentious yeah. so i'm wondering if that level of respect is no longer there and the debates have become more contentious and more of a a chore mm -hmm. than an enjoyment. And when that happens, you know, it's time to go your separate ways. Yeah, yeah you know. Yeah. And I think I think uh, you got yeah, something, yeah, Wu? Yeah, yeah what, you, what you got? Because I actually was a fan of the show. Yeah. Long, long, of long Undisputed. Time. Yeah, like yeah, most like most star. I mean, it is a good show. It's a good show. It's entertaining. Correct, yeah. correct. But I feel like you could see it mostly on Shannon. It's almost like Skip has a way of being oblivious to the fact that he's pissing him off. Mm -hmm. Is he oblivious or is he playing dumb? He could be playing dumb, but you would see Shannon, let's say, take off his glasses, mm -hmm. ruffle up, mm -hmm. start to really get hyped because it's like he's taking it more serious. I, I think Skip just knows how to get under his skin in a way. Yeah, and no, unfortunately, I think it's a lot of Skip knowing that, like, all right, you know, this this is what sells. This is what's entertaining. Let me push the line a little bit. and But knowing he's getting personal. And, and that's that's why I brought up, you know, like that Tom Brady situation. I think, you know, to your point, that's my, that might have been when this respect was, was lost or when it was broken. And, you know, of course, due to contractual obligations and whatnot, he just he just couldn't terminate it there, but I think mm -hmm. he was looking for, and which the reports are saying the NBA final after the NBA finals is when they'll part ways. You know, it's it's the dead time in sports. So it I is think interesting it's, though that yeah. he reached a buyout with FS1 and not just with his undisputed contract. Because mm -hmm. if you you know read the finer print, um, there is also. Um, his his club Shay Shay podcast is also leaving FS1. So mm -hmm. I wonder what the underlining issue there is. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's he's unhappy altogether mm -hmm. with just FS1 and maybe how he's been portrayed on Undisputed and that's been a trickle down effect. Or if FS1 prioritizes Skip more mm. than they prioritize Shannon, and that's something that left him feeling a type of way. Yeah. Um, you know, to Skip's credit, not taking sides, but he, before these whole hot take, you know, talk show type things, he was an incredible journalist, like a well respected journalist. Mm -hmm. He is somebody who you can say was one of the pioneers for this hot take. 
yeah. you know, first take type of um, show format. Mm -hmm. You know, he handpicked Stephen A. He handpicked Shannon Sharp to be his partner. Um, not saying that, you know, that gives him carte blanche, but I wonder if in the eyes of FS1, it does. And that also ended up being something that was um, an issue for Shannon because to be completely bought out of your deal with the entire company right. says to me that it's not just about Skip, that it's about more than him. Mm -hmm. You think he now takes the new media route? Think just makes his podcast more of his. his I mean, look, he has a great podcast. He has yeah, a great following. Cool. Um, it does really well on um, YouTube. I wouldn't be surprised if it was picked up by, you know, whoever he got an endorsement deal with, you know, a, a sports book house or whatever the case may be. Um, there's so many avenues now to go ahead and get content out. You don't mm -hmm. need linear all the time. Yeah, right. Um, I don't see him making the jump to ESPN. Mm -hmm. Or anything like that. Yeah, I think you don't he, think it's not—it's not like a switch. You don't no, think make I don't, a I'd be very surprised if he went to ESPN. Truthfully, um, he may do the new media thing. Yeah. Um, I don't know what it would look like. Like, who would he partner with? But you know, that's probably a fair assessment. Mm -hmm. now, what do you think the future looks like for Skip? Though, do you think Skip would probably just kind of get like a new co-host, or do you think you'll see him more on like a large panel type thing now? No, he'll just find a new person. Yeah, I think Skip. That skips. Do you think Undisputed will remain? You think Undisputed will remain and it'll just be, you know, just new hosts? I believe that Undisputed is their highest viewed program. So yeah. I would be surprised if FS1. But it is interesting. They, got, like, rid what's of, they, got, they, got, they got rid of Jenny Taft also. Yeah. Or Tate. Is that her name? Tate or Taft? I don't want to mess her name up. Is that, is that like... The uh, girl who... Like, the, like their moderator? Kind yeah. Of? Yeah. Um... I don't know. I mean, I would be surprised if FS1 doesn't yeah. allow their flagship to continue. Undisputed is like their flagship show. Yeah. Um, I don't know who else would be out there that would work with Skip as a co-host. I think everyone's so used to seeing Shannon, but at yeah. one point everyone was so used to seeing Skip and Stephen A and they got used to Shannon. So You're right, you're right. Oh, that was yeah, that was Stephen A's show before yeah. Shannon. No, it was huh? First Take was his show. That's what it was, but it was but it was But it was, it was Skip and, and it was Skip, Skip yeah. and Stephen A on First Take and uh -huh. then Skip left to Fox Sports undisputed right, right, with right, Shannon right. and everyone was like this is not going to work yeah. and it worked. And it worked, yeah. So I mean, you can do it again, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, no, see. we'll see. Yeah, we shall see. We shall see.